Today we are making a chicken and leek pie. A budget-friendly recipe, enough for the whole family. Easy to make as always because that's why you're on this channel and for more recipes like this, make sure to subscribe. Enough talk, let's get into cooking. Well, apart from chicken and leek, we're gonna use some bacon as well because we need some extra flavor. So start this recipe with about four rushes of streaky bacon, get them straight into the oven at 180 degrees Celsius for about 10 minutes or until they get properly crispy. We need two leeks for this recipe. And I know it doesn't really look like we've got two here, but we're only using the white part because it's more tender, it's not as stringy as the green one, but you can keep the green one for stocks, so nothing gets wasted. We are following with one chopped white onion. Even though you could kind of skip it because the leek has some of that flavor, I'm still recommending you to use it. Now, get some garlic in, three cloves of garlic would definitely do, chop them finely, and after that you can mix all the ingredients together because they will all go into the pot in the same time. When it comes to chicken, I'm highly recommending skinless chicken thighs. They retain a better flavor when cooking and they are a lot more affordable than the chicken breast. If there is any excess fat, just trim it off, cut the chicken into cubes and get it ready for frying. And by the way, you don't need to go too small because the chicken will shrink during cooking. I just hope that you didn't forget that bacon into the oven cause I almost did. Leave the oven running because we'll need it later. Make sure you keep that bacon fat from the tray, I'll show you why in a minute. Now chop the bacon into fine bits and set it aside for later. Set a pan large enough that can take all the ingredients we've prepared so far on medium high heat and add about 3 tablespoons of veg oil. To the pan hot enough add the chicken and that's where you need that bacon fat. Now cook this for about 10 minutes. Go ahead with the leek, onion and garlic all in once. Add seasoning such as salt and pepper and cook this for about 5 minutes. After that to bind all these ingredients together we are adding 1 tablespoon of flour and cook for further 2 minutes. Once you add the flour give you another minute of cooking and add about 50 ml of white wine. Once the alcohol is evaporated you can go in with a double cream. I use cream for some of my other recipes and I'm not sure if I ever mentioned but if you can, if possible, always go for dairy cream. Add 1 teaspoon of whole grain mustard or you can consider lemon juice or lemon zest. We need something acid, that's the whole point. Now go in with the chopped bacon, give it a good mix and cook for another 2 minutes. Take the pan off the heat and set it aside for later. Let's move on to the puff pastry. This is a shop-bought puff pastry, it's convenient, it's fast and if you use a good quality one, you shouldn't have any problems. Flour the surface and the pastry cause we're doing 2 in 1 in here. Now get the rolling pin in action. And the process it's easy, roll and turn, roll and turn, this is how you're gonna get a nice even layer of puff pastry. Prepare an oven proof dish and of course it doesn't need to be clear as mine, it can be any other color or material, but the size should be probably the same. Transfer into the tray all the mixed pie we prepared earlier. Fresh thyme, straight from the garden or maybe straight from the pot. Few spring of these go on top and make sure you move fast enough because the pastry doesn't like room temperature and it just gets harder to work with it. You don't need to be that precise and you don't need to trim any of that excess puff pastry. Trust me, this is home cooking. If it's too much on the sides, just fold it on top of the pie. That's absolutely fine. To be honest, for me, that's the best bit. I really like some extra puff pastry on my pie. Get the pastry brush and make sure you egg wash the puff pastry properly. This will give it a really nice color once it's done. With the oven set up at 180 degrees Celsius, your pie goes in for about 20 to 25 minutes or until the pastry is properly cooked and it starts getting a nice golden brown color. Get the family around and dig straight in. I'm gonna leave all the ingredients in the description of this video so if you want to cook this recipe, it cannot be easier. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, it really helps and check other videos on my channel. I'll see you next week with a new recipe. And don't forget, on this channel, the cooking never stops.